morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Okay, we're going to continue on. We're going to try and get a little bit of plastic parts glued together. And uh, remember in the last episode I was talking about the cord that came with this remote was too short. Well, as it turns out, I've, I had a longer one that, that actually fits. And it's, uh, I'm guessing it's about a meter long. I think it's uh, a cord that, that actually came with my uh, iPad years ago, but I'm not sure. All I know is that I, I kind of like it. I, I wish it was longer though, <laughs> but it's, it's going to work out okay. And uh, it's nice and flexible and, and bottom line is it works. Okay, enough about that. Uh, we want to get these pieces glued on to the sides and uh, obviously I'm going to have to recompose to do that. I'll probably use the elastic band thing again, whatever happened to it. It's not this one. Uh, oh, here it is. Yeah, here we go. And uh, yeah, let's, 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 oh, no sunrise this morning. Uh, at least not that we could see, so I won't. I won't. I can't show you that. Uh, the temperature this morning is oh my goodness, it's minus nineteen point one Celsius. It's cold again. Uh, well, generally, generally when it's cold, we don't get snow. It we get the snow when it warms up a little bit. It's uh, the way it goes. Okay, let's let's uh, recompose here and. Uh, Get ourselves, uh, uh, I can't talk and work at the same time. Get ourselves organized. Okay, I'm going to try this out and see how it works. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. We are pretty much back to where we were yesterday when I suddenly realized that I had to glue this part down. Uh, and I was just thinking this morning, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a few minutes, moments ago actually, that I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have it like, like this, and then we will sort of, you might say, tack it in place by turning this upside down carefully. Okay, and letting the glue run in the crack and, and just sort of hold it in and, and let it set. Maybe I could use the, the quick setting actually might, might work really well for that, just to quickly tack it in place. And then worry about getting all the, you know, you, you can see here that, that this is, if this is flush on the bottom, yeah, you know, I don't think I want to mess around with that when it's upside down because I think it would be possible to to slide these panels out of out of uh, alignment or out, out of level, you might say. So let's just carefully turn this over here. Okay, yeah, I just want to make sure that that when this is flushed down on the table, the bo the bottom of these panels is too. Yeah, and, and it's it's pretty well right. I'm sort of thinking out loud here again. Okay, let's just uh, get ourselves back to where we was. Okay, I think you can see what I'm going to try to do here. Now, I, when I put these clamps on, I don't want it to scratch our uh, XF19 there. So I think there's enough to make four here. I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm not going to do it fancy. OK, 
Okay. Now, these things are not perfectly square, so I want to take advantage of that and yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do is just peel the uh, side off and stick it on. And then uh, we'll continue on here. Okay, and the last one. There we go. Let's try it out. Yeah, that's going to be all right. It won't scratch the surface. At least that's the plan. Okay, I was sort of debating here. Do I use the uh, extra thin regular or the extra thin quick setting? And I think I am going to go ahead and use the quick setting. And uh, I don't think we need to flip this over and, and uh, check. I think we, it should be flush. If it's flush here, it should be good on the other side. Um okay, so we just want to let it lick its way down here. Maybe we'll just just do this one over here first. And it, we, we just want to tack it in place on the bottom and and then when we flip it over, we'll worry about the the rest of it. sort of see it disappearing down into the crack there. At least I can. Or maybe it's evaporating. Maybe that's what's happening. I don't think it's going to run out the other side anyway. Okay, we'll just give that a few minutes and that should be all it takes. Okay, a fair bit of time has passed here now. And you may have noticed I did not do this little front panel. It's still loose. The reason I didn't want to do that one is because, you know, I wanted to make sure everything was lined up just right. And the best way to do that is have this right side up. So let's turn it right side up. Pretty good there. I'm thinking maybe if I was to take and pull those elastic bands uh, out from the front a bit and put something in behind there, it'll it'll give the pressure we need. Although, mind you, it's pretty good the way it is actually. I I just want to be careful that. I don't have glue come where the elastic band is, and then the, the plastic will will meld, or mold, will will molten, or whatever you want to call it, and the elastic band will push in and leave a mark. So, uh, gotta watch out for that. I think that's about as in as we're gonna get here. If I could have a rig up a little a little light duty clamp to go from here to right here. That that might be the best. Just to pull that in. This side here is okay, more or less. Yeah. Well, you know, once once I get this this uh, uh, light gray painted, this the 77, the same as this, it, it it'll uh, 
It'll all blend together. I, I don't think I'll, I'll paint the top of this railing though. I think we'll just leave that the way it is. be better off squeezing from from right right in here like like right like that use two or three clamps right right up as far as I can get here yeah that that might be the best it doesn't have to go very much just just a little bit here and then everything would be upside down okay as usual, I am overthinking this. Okay, we got that ready to go. Let's just tack this in place here. here anyway. Mind you, I can't seem to press that in too much further. Just, just a little bit more. I was thinking that maybe what I could do is hold it in with my finger while the uh, quick setting sets. Um, yeah, because once this is all painted over, you know, it'll... Uh, Let's just give it a try here. I'll, I'll just recompose. Okay, maybe I'll just move this down here a little bit. This is not wanting to go in very far, is it? is my imagination or not very much seems to stick on the end of that applicator okay oh yeah it is you can see it oozing out there I'm gonna have to wipe that off somehow okay now how do I press stop well that didn't hold as well as I had hoped and I just sort of made a little mess here on the top, didn't I? Maybe I should uh, wait and let that get really hard and then sort of sand it off. Okay, I won't put, uh, on the other side I'm going to do it the same way, only I won't, I won't put quite so much glue in. I think more was coming off of the applicator than I thought there was. All right, now how much of this is going to show after the, we drop this piece down? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to paint the top of this. Okay.
Now what's happening here is that I was just thinking as long as I'm going to be having to paint the 77 here and I knew that this little deck most of it was exposed I just wanted to see how much of this is going to be is going to be exposed and uh, that is this back deck and there are going to be pieces going on here and here I believe that uh, part of the this uh, the funnel I think this is the funnel goes right here and uh, yeah it sort of overlaps a little bit but but quite a bit of this this deck is going to be uh, is going to be visible even even after everything is put down, down on top so I, I was thinking that maybe what I should carefully do is just paint this entire top well, it's a shame to be painting here and accidentally maybe get it down the sides. Uh, th this piece here is, is not painted yet. But uh, it's going to be painted the, the uh, 19, the same as every, all the rest of the uh, bulkheads and superstructure. Um, but like I say, quite a bit of this is going to, is going to want to, I want to have it the dark 77, like this. Um, <clears throat> so, um, maybe what I should do is, is, is put some masking tape all the way along the edge here. That might be a good idea. I'll just put it all the way along the edge, and that way I don't need to worry too much about it running down. And uh, just be, be careful that I don't sop the paint on, uh, you know. Okay, let, let's, uh get something done here. What do we got here? It's it's 12.37 already in the afternoon and the day's to me it's half over half gone. So uh, well, I don't think I need to put that back on again. Now this is the first time that I've done any masking on the inside of a splinter rail. And uh, just because I've got masking tape there doesn't mean that I can get, you know, careless with the, with my paint and put it on too thick. Because what will happen is it'll wick its way up between the tape and, and the uh, plastic. Okay, so we got that. Now let's try and get this more or less in place here. I might have to... Fit before. Maybe the tape is kind of. There we go. I just wanted to see approximately where this is going to come. Um, and we'll just uh, we'll just lightly score this here. All right. Now I can almost see that. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to redo that. There's a little line right there somewhere. The idea is I don't need to paint this area in here, the, the 77. But everything else I will. I think I'm going to have to rescore that. Anyway, I'll, I'll just do that off camera. But you can see what I've got going on here. I have just shook this up. And I believe that the plus means the... Uh, uh, paint retarder. So it's thinned and paint retarder. So that means it's going to be a little bit shiny. But, uh, okay, now, this, this piece here, I'm going to use the large brush, and it'll probably take two coats, but I'm going to see if I can get away with just doing one on the top here. And, uh, at least that's the plan. And I think that if I if I paint in in this direction and don't push down too hard, it it I may not I can get away with the fact that I didn't mask. You know, it, it's kind of hard to mask around places like that where you've got like that vent sticking up. It it tends to the tape doesn't want to go in that there's little anyway. Uh, let's move in a little bit here.
Now keeping in mind that most of this is going to be covered anyway by that piece that we just took off. Okay, hopefully when that dries it's going to look alright. Looks like there's a little spot right there. There, we got it. Okay. Now we'll just recompose here and uh, what time we got here? Yeah, I think we got time to do the rest of the painting. Okay, I think our masking tape is up against the edge there pretty good. And I'm going to use the, the larger brush. And uh, I'm going to try and put it on, on thinly and then I'll do another coat later. And uh, I don't know if you can see that line that I scored in there. I don't need to paint this area here. And if I if I accidentally go over the line, well, it doesn't matter. But I guess what I would what I didn't want to happen is to have to paint, you know, on the on the side of the bulkhead. Anyway, here we go. And I'm going to turn this so that I can see it good. There's going to be something going on that peg. Okay, now let's let's just leave that. We'll get the we'll let the uh, second coat. Let's get a little bit in there. I just want it to get runny, if you know what I mean, because then it can go up the uh, masking tape. Okay, now we don't need to do this. Okay. Now, this one here, I don't think... I, I want to do the, the opposite. Before I was painting from the platform out, this one, this time, I just want to either go with the with the grain, you might say, or in, because I don't want to force it underneath the masking tape. At least that's the plan. Now, I'm obviously going to be getting some on that area that I didn't want. I just want to be careful I don't pull the masking tape away. I should I should zoom in a bit here. Yeah, sorry about that. There's going to be something going on in this little square box. That will... I know this this first coat looks pretty scruffy, doesn't it? This isn't going exactly as planned, but it's it's going. I 
Okay, is there any place where I'm seeing bare plastic? Maybe just right there. Okay, we'll let, we'll let that dry. And uh, give it a second coat and then peel the masking tape off. But you know what? That's not going to be in this episode. It's going to be in the next episode. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. And all being well. We'll be seeing you in the next episode.